I think the creative streak in me comes from my mother and my father was the uh, more scientific, uh, realistic person. I couldn't have wished for better parents. My first uh, experience uh, of dad was his deafness and uh, my primary school teacher said to me years later that when she asked me what I wanted to do, she, I said to her, I'd like to fix ears. The, the progress from uh, high school or secondary school to university was fairly straightforward. Going from medicine out into the big wide world was a shock, but I really had a passion to do what I said I wanted to do, and that was study auditory brain physiology. When I got this urge, I had to go back to Sydney University to the main neurophysiology centre in this country to uh, see if my professor would still have me back now, and he did. I didn't dare tell them that I was wanting to do research to uh, help develop uh, stimulation for the ear for deaf people. The climate of opinion was totally against it. And, and so I started with a very small team to, to, to prove the principle that multi-channel stimulation would be satisfactory. Uh, I was criticised strongly, firstly by the scientists of the day. I had to put it aside and focus. It was only the second time that the government funded a research and development uh, project. In those days, we always said, we'll leave it to the Americans and Europeans to develop things. I could quietly work away on all these things and I didn't have to follow the crowd. I was passionate about uh, developing uh, industry in Australia. For a company in Australia to have had the percentage market, which has varied from up to 75 or even 80 or 90 percent, is extraordinary. And uh, it's a tribute to the management, the staff, and uh, the whole way in which the industry has been managed and I hope also that the way we've been able to work together with industry and research. I have often wondered what a legacy might be but I don't think too much of the past. I try to always think ahead. Uh, I hope that what I've done has been of help. It's been a joy to see the unexpected benefits to children and adults. Now, I've got to the stage of reflection and uh, thinking about the cochlear implant industry um, and uh, what surprises me is that uh, it's doing so well, for a start. And I think, you know, in some ways, I think we've established a model for what other enterprises and places should do. And I think um, it's something that we can all be proud of.